You're in a lab. You hear machines running, test numbers flowing out of scientists' mouths, and shrieks, animal shrieks of pain. In those labs, <laughs> in those labs that do animal testings, they don't care about animals' basic rights. They only care that they get their money and results. Hello. I am Sadi Aleman, and I am the first speaker of the proposition side of this debate. And we are here to claim that animal testing should be abolished completely due to the inhumaneness of these apps. Animals can experience pain as we do, and they should not have to be tortured with these tests. Their anatomy is not the same as ours, so the test results will not be 100% relevant and accurate to humans. Furthermore, there are many more humane ways to get results than testing animals. I'm here to get in depth of our first assertion and to help you understand the proposition side much more. To start off my statement, I would like to say that by allowing animal testing, we're throwing animals' basic rights away. Every creature has the right to be respected, physically at the least. Those rights are violated when testings are a go. An example of this cruelty on rabbits is the LD50 test. According to LoneStar.edu, researchers hook up the animals to tubes that pump huge amounts of test product into their stomachs until they die. This test is extremely painful to the animals because death can take days or even weeks. According to Orleans, the animals suffer from vomiting, diarrhea, paralysis, convulsion, and internal bleeding. Since death is required endpoint, dying animals are not putting it, put out of their misery by euthanasia. Who can just stand and watch a helpless animal wither in pain? That's just inhumane and it's not right. Many people will say that animals don't have consciousness of the pain, so they know so they don't know that they're dying. However, this is not true because according to Dr. Carl Safina, animals such as elephants show grief and dogs react to their own owner's feelings such as sadness. Therefore, animals can feel sorrow and pain of loss of others and they have nerves, obviously, so they can feel pain themselves. Just imagine being the animal in that cage. You can hear the other animals' cries of pain and obviously you're scared and you're mourning the ones that have already died, not to mention that you've already been tested on yourself. Um, to go back how they have basic rights, every animal in that lab has also had many tests done on them, so they, hold on, sorry, so they often have inhumane or inaccurate results through the tests. Um, <laughs> through all of this, it's obvious that all of these reasons are um, not right for animals, and we show no mercy to those in testing. Thank you, and please vote for the proposition. Okay, um, I, I am Owen, and I'm the first speaker for the opposition. Um, okay, so imagine that your parents have a life-threatening disease like Ebola. Their lives are at stake and there is a vaccine available. However, because some people have different morals, the vaccine, along with animal testing, has been completely outlawed. No further research can be conducted without giving people the virus and testing it. Now, think whose life is worth more. The human beings who could die due to the lack of animal testing and uh, its results and uh, the only options being human experimentation, or a few lab rats, or mice. <coughs> My team's points consist of, <coughs> animals have not been harmed by what has been done through animal testing, mainly. It benefits animals as well as humans. And finally, it has created many life-saving medicines and vaccines. Animal testing has been invaluable to humanity for hundreds of years. Things like polio, like polio, like the polio and Ebola vaccines have been created through animal testing. Other things like penicillin and breakthroughs in HIV and AIDS treatment were also created due to animal testing, according to the CBRA fact sheet. Organ transplants, a medical procedure that has saved billions of lives, both human and animal, was perfected on a dog, according to the same fact sheet. And the procedure harms almost nobody, as most donors are dead and thus can donate organs. Now, to refute uh, her points, um, she, so there, her assertion was that uh, animals can feel pain and grief. However, she only used two uh, <coughs> examples, dogs and elephants. However, elephants are not usually tested on, and uh, different anatomies was another point. However, most tests 
like, you know, it's animals like chimpanzees, 99% similar uh, DNA to humans, which means that they react similarly to viruses, and thus vaccines are much more effective uh, and, you know, 99% accuracy most of the time. And it, her, another point was that there are alternatives. Yes, there are all are alternatives. However, many of them are very costly and very, very hard to do, such as um, making, you know, synthetic cells and uh, other things to test on. And these are not widely available to many, many places that use animal testing. Things like, you know, veterinary schools. They don't have the resources to create synthetic cells right there and then. Uh, no euthanasia is another point that they used. Um, however, most animal testing is done for things, you know, like vaccines and surgeries. So they do and things like the experiment she used where they were pumped full of um, toxins and other things are very, very rare. And so um, most... Sorry. What? Why are they so rare? What? Why do so you say they're rare? Well, what, what were they, what were her tests for, did she say? I'll be thinking polio, the diseases you just mentioned. Oh, okay. So, so, yeah, okay, so, don't have a source for that, but, again, many vaccines are developed by injecting the thing, the thing into the animals, not just pumping them full of it. However, um, things, you know, like, surgical procedures, you know? If you are um, tell, if you're helping people with to with who are trained to be veterinarians, right, and you are performing surgery on an animal, they are usually given euthanasia, as that is what is done during a actual procedure. And so, yes, while some of these points are correct, however, most of them aren't uh, aren't exceeding like most of them are not extremely common. Okay. Uh, please vote for the <coughs> Okay. Animals are not, nor will they ever be exactly the same as humans. According to an article by Cruelty, Cruelty Free International, out of the 93 dangerous drug effects, only 19% of the side effects could be predicted with the use of animal testing. Although humans can benefit, sometimes even in great amounts, from, set, from successful animal testing, the pain, suffering, and deaths of animals are not worth the possible benefits. Hello, I'm the second speaker for the proposition, Jasmine Hendricks. First, I will read the opposition, then proceed with my own assertion, backing it up with valid reasoning. <coughs> so like the opposition said, um, uh, they, were, they were claiming that if a human dies compared to a few lab rats and or mice, even though it may be one human, in some experiments uh, where where testing on animals succeeded, many other people have died from the same from the same vaccines because Source. cruelty free international. Thank you. Um. Anyways. Onto my reasoning for why animal testing should not uh, exist because of the fact that it provides inaccurate and irrelevant results. According to a study by Bio, uh, Bio which is Biotechnology, uh, Biotechnology Innovation Organization, in the UK, 90% of drugs developed through animal testing fail in human traits, uh, trials, oh my god, um, fail in human trials despite successful results in animal tests. In a study by the Humane Society of the US, it was found that mice and rats that are often used for the testing often offered results that were only accurate 43% of the time, with at, least, um, with at least 115 million animals being used in experiments per year globally, only 46 new medicines were approved in 2017. Over a thousand potential stroke treatments, uh, over the 1,000 potential stroke treatments that were successful in animal tests, only about 10% of these said successful treatments progressed into human trials, none working significantly or sufficiently well in humans. Source. Same thing? Yes. Okay. According, to, according to Cruelty Free International, animals do not get many of the diseases like we do, such as heart disease, cancer, HIV, Parkinson's disease, and schizophrenia. 
uh, Vioxx, a drug <coughs> used to treat arth arthritis, was found to be safe when testing the monkeys and five other animal species, but has been estimated to have caused around 32,000 heart attacks and 140,000 deaths worldwide. Human volunteers testing a new monic uh, mon monoclonal uh, ant antibody treatment TGM uh, 1412 at North Lake Park Hospital UK in 2006 suffered a severe allergic reaction and nearly died because the testing done on monkeys at 500 times the dosage given to the volunteers didn't predict the dangerous side effects. Despite being tested on animals first, a hepatitis B drug, uh, <coughs> a hepatitis B drug, uh, called I cannot pronounce this. Anyways, um, anyways, a hepatitis B drug had to be stopped. Uh, had to be stopped because it caused severe liver damage in seven patients, five of whom died. Um, thank you. Please vote for the competition. So, hello. I'm Tanner Cesario. I'm the second speaker of the opposition. First, I would like to refute my opponent's points. By, um, by using two sources. First, um, the source, what is the purpose of animal testing by sciencing.com. Animal testing is a valuable asset in scientific research, drug development, health, and medical research, and cosmetics manufacturing. And second, um, from the CBRA fact sheet, Why Are Animals Necessary in Biomedical Research, uh, states for more than a hundred years virtually every medical breakthrough in human and animal health has been the direct result of research using most animal testing. And then as well, I think it was also from the CBRA fact sheet, I got the that most animals are biologically similar to human beings. But now on to my points. Animals have not been harmed by what has been done through the history of animal testing, so why should we stop now? The number of lives saved by these tools, vaccines, and medicines, all for the cost of a little bit of pain from the animals. And while you may say that it is cruel to do this to the animals, that they got pricked with a needle, or surgery was done on them to help doctors prepare, prepare for the actual saving of a life, the pain they are giving is most likely a decent amount. But the pain that the animal felt, no thank you, the pain that the animal has felt is little to none. According to Procon.org, in their article called History of Animal Testing, they say, the USDA breaks down its data by three categories of pain type. Animals that experience pain during their own use of, or doing their use of research, but um, have given drugs to alleviate it. Animals who experience pain and are not given drugs, and then animals who do not experience pain and are not given drugs. The numbers are facts, and the numbers are the animals that receive no pain, 69, 000, or 16, 697,801 animals. The animals that received some pain and are given drugs to alleviate it, 339,769. And animals that receive some pain, only 97,123. That was from the USDA, uh, I mean, no, Procon. the Procon.org History of Animal Testing. While only 97,000 experienced discomfort or pain during the use of animal testing, <coughs> over 1 million animals feel none such of discomfort or pain. This is why I ask you judges to agree with the opposition and keep animal testing in full force. Thank you. Imagine a world where the issues of animal testing were eliminated because of alternative methods. Well, this can be our world today because there are such alternatives that are far more humane. Hello, my name is Yotam Lekapimor. As a third speaker of the proposition, I will first refute the opposition's previous arguments and then move on to summarize my team's previous points and state my own assertion. So, um, before they said, before they said that many, uh, there aren't many uh, ways to produce these alternatives to animal testing. Well, if, if 
we take action now and we try to produce these alternatives more, then it will be then more people can have these, and so there, we won't have to use animal tests. Not immediately effective. Not immediately, but over time. That's what we mean. Also, we said you said that uh, animal testing. Uh, it, through it, there are a lot of scientific and medical breakthroughs, but that was before. How about now? How about the modern age right now? Animal testing is not necessary in the modern age. Ebola vaccine. Well, that one is the most painful one for animals. Yes, but it has stopped multiple outbreaks. Is it worth it? Mm -hmm. Animals to feel pain? If it saves multiple countries from hundreds of thousands of civilian deaths, yes. Well, right now, there was a poll, a Google poll in May of 2013 that said that 50, 56 of Americans said that testing <coughs> was morally acceptable, but 39 said the opposite. 39% is still a big portion of people that say that animal testing is immoral. No, thank you. Um, that's a Google poll. Uh, okay, now I'm going to move on to my own assertion. Okay. Now, I'll summarize, now I'll summarize my team's points. Animal testing is a cruel and inhumane practice that's not even 100% accurate due to dissimilar anatomy between humans and animals. No matter what grand scientific or medical discoveries are made through animal testing, the bottom line is that it's a complete violation of the basic rights that animals have. Furthermore, in many studies it was found that drugs developed through animal testing are consistently inaccurate despite success on the animals. This boils down to a dissimilitude between the human and animal anatomies. It is clear that animal testing is immoral and unsuccessful. To begin with my assertion, I will state that there are alternatives either made or in development that make animal testing unnecessary. For example, iTex is a synthetic material that, when damaged, turns opaque. This closely resembles how a real eye reacts to damage. In addition, Body Shop, a cosmetic, skincare, and perfume company that is an advocate of banning animal testing, is developing a synthetic cellular tissue that is very similar to human skin. Other alternatives include cloning human genes to microorganisms and creating 3D models of human organs and other parts. Through our reasoning and evidence, we have shown how cruel, defective, and borderline superfluous animal testing is. The basic rights of animals are being thrown away, and the overall human integrity is at stake here. Thank you, and please vote for the proposition. Hello, I'm Jakob. I'm for the opposition side. Do you know how we got rid of rabies or distemper from your own pets? Well, if it hadn't been for animal testing, we would have diseased animals everywhere. I'm here to strengthen our points as well as to refute the opposition's points. Firstly, you said that modern medicine, modern medicines are not needed for animal testing. Well, you said that our modern mes I mean, uh, that we don't need, how about modern testing right now? Well, the coronavirus is a big subject right now, which is coming up very recently. And we, if we need a vaccine quickly and need it now, who are we going to test it on? If we test it on humans, we're going to have either a, we're either going to have a really good chance of it, or we're going to have them end up dead. So it's more better if we use it on animals. Uh, we've also basically evolved in animals. If we hadn't had animals, we had we wouldn't have the medicine we have today. Uh, it's just common knowledge. If we eat animals, then how we would be have protein, and we eat yeah, animals. That's not related to animal testing. That's, that's not related okay. to animal That's not <coughs> Okay. Animals have not just been vaccinated. We, they have also been saved from, from near extinction. This shows that testing has many benefits for almost every species, not just human. In fact, it has saved the tamarins of Brazil and the California condor, as the CBRA fact uh, sheet has stated. <laughs> The animals which have been tested on have made many vaccines, probably more than you can think of. These vaccines consist of rabies and distemper in dogs and cats, feline leukemia, infectious hepatitis viruses, TNS, and assisted the de development of treatment for heartworms. But for humans, these animals have made more than 80 vaccines. Actually, having these animals tested has, has hu made the human life expectancies drastically longer. In conclusion, Testing uh, these animals has helped us define the world around us today. Thanks, and vote for the opposition.